welcoming you to September 2022's uh, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion vlog. Uh, for this month's vlog, I wanted to share um, the American Association for Cancer Research released their Cancer Disparities Progress Report for 2022. I put the link um, uh, as well in, in the vlog, so you can read all the information if you'd like. But I also wanted to just uh, touch on a few topics. Um, one, we always talk about cancer health disparities, um, but I don't know that we talk enough about what those, what that actually means. What is a cancer health disparity? So uh, cancer health disparity is defined as an adverse difference in cancer burden experienced by racial and ethnic minorities and other medically underserved populations, uh, which could include individuals living in poverty and uh, rural, extreme rural areas in inner city, a very urban era, areas, uh, individuals from sexual and gender minorities as well. Um, so, you know, in in addition to racial and ethnic minorities, uh, the report is showing that there are many other segments of the U.S. population that are shouldering a disproportionate burden of cancer. Um, and these m populations are often racially and ethnically diverse, but are disadvantaged in their access to quality care. Uh, they also may have higher uh, higher prevalence of risk factors, such as um, lacking access to um, cutting edge treatments and state of the art facilities. Um, uh, they may um, be victims of implicit bias and discriminatory behavior if they're, um, you know, due to sexual and gender minorities. Um, and this latest report reveals that the communities where um, this burden is most evident as very rural communities and very urban communities. Uh, and so they are um, looking into avenues that will allow us to, as a society, address those inequalities. Um, the report said that uh, those belonging, those individuals belonging to medically underserved populations experience higher rates of adverse side effects, poor quality of life, and higher financial toxicity resulting from cancer diagnosis. Um, their suggestion moving forward is to make sure that um, patient navigators, patient advocates, and support groups uh, focus on culturally sensitive um, intervention and navigation programs. Um, the good news from this uh, report is uh, that um, there has been a decrease uh, since uh, some of the research has been done from the early 2000s to most recently it was 2019 in um, the cancer disparity between black individuals and white individuals. So uh, in recent decades, the overall cancer incidence and mortality rates have declined for all racial and ethnic minorities in the United States. And the disparity um, in overall cancer mortality rates between black people and white people has narrowed uh, from 26%, which is what it was in 2000, to 13% in 2019. So that is, that's a 50% reduction, which is something to be um, happy about and, and to really motivate us in moving forward um, to ensure that we don't just stop here, but continue to work to decrease that inequalities of burden of care. Thank you.